Hey folks, it's Mangirl. Welcome back to the channel. And we're going to be installing this TP-Link CASA Smart Wi-Fi light switch instead of this switch over here. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I've got the holiday lights all set up. And what I need to do is I need to make sure that when those lights turn on, that the porch light turns off. And I've already got one of these set up that's an exterior version already set up outside that does the holiday lights. I need to do this inside here to control it and make it all one uh, nice ecosystem. I got this off Amazon. I'll link you in the video description. So before we get started, there's a couple of requirements here that we need to make sure we've checked first. So the first one is um, it is a it requires a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi. So you gotta make sure you have one of those older style kind of Wi-Fi's at this point. Um, you need to make sure that you have a neutral wire. So you need to make sure that when you open up your light switch, that you have a typically black and white wire. So a lot of light switches don't have that. I haven't checked this one yet. So I'll do that and hopefully, fingers crossed, I've got both over there. Um, and the last thing is this is a single pole switch, which means it's only for those situations where the light turns on and off from one switch. So if you can turn your lights on and off from more than one switch, that is not a single pole. All right, so first thing we want to do is open up the cover over here and make sure that uh, we can get access to the wires and see exactly what kind of wire we have. Now I've already turned the power off, so make sure you go down to your breaker panel, you find out which one that delivers power to the switch and you turn it off, very important. So let's go ahead and open this. And because I've got two switches here, I'm already sure which one it is. <laughs> you don't want to do the wrong switch. So I'm just gonna take this plate off, making sure not to lose any of the screws. All right, so the plate, come on, plate is off the wall. All right, now I've got one of these electricity testers from Klein Tool. I'm just gonna check over here, make sure there's no power. I can already tell when I turn this on, the light doesn't turn on, but just to make sure, I'm gonna check here. And if you get inside here, I think we're, we're looking pretty, I see a white wire. So you probably can't see it in there, but if I shine this light through, I see a white wire. So that's promising, but let me get in there and you know, fingers crossed, we do have a white wire. So now I'm just gonna open up this switch. Now we may just have to score here a little bit because it looks like it's been painted over. So I don't want to risk pulling the paint off the wall. So you can do this with a knife, you can do it with a screwdriver, just kind of cut or score around here. All right, there you go. So now I'm gonna pull it forward. All right, now I'm gonna check once more to make sure that there is no electricity flowing through, which there we go, there isn't. And if you now get in there, you can see that there is a white wire. So I got a white wire here, I've got the black wire. So one side of this is gonna to go to the light outside, one side is a power input, and it looks like they're feeding another light off of this. So we gotta bear that in mind. Make sure we don't lose track of which is which. And if I try to pull this white wire out of there, all right, so let me, let me take this all apart because I need to get access to this white wire and it's tucked behind this, and then we'll come back. Yep, so there we go. We had our white wire, which is a neutral wire. We have the two switches that are connected together. So we're replacing this one. We'll go ahead and wire the CASA switch exactly the same way. Now let's go ahead and unbox this and see exactly how it looks inside and what we're getting with it. So let me go ahead and open it up. All right. Okay, so we have some screws. Uh, wire connectors. All right. So we got the switch itself. And then we've got okay, some 
wire labels and a small manual. So let's take a look at the switch. Okay, interesting, it comes with the plate. So I wanna get it out of the plate. Okay, so just to remove it from the plate, just uh, kind of pull it and bend, and it comes right off. So there it is. And it looks like we've got, oh, they're all perfect. They're all nicely labeled. So we have line load, neutral ground. Huh. It, it's, it sounds like um, a mouse. All right. So let me go ahead and connect this, but pretty much we're just going to replace what's here. So two of these goes to one, one goes to the other, white goes to white, and then the ground, you can just connect over to the box inside there. So you can connect one of these screws that's in there. Let me go ahead and connect this, and then we'll come back and take a look. All right, I've gotten it uh, temporarily wired in. So as I mentioned, two of them went to one of the wires, one went to the other one, white to white, and then the green ground one went to the box. So I turned the power on temporarily just to make sure everything works before I install it fully. And I can see here that it's, it is getting power. It's flashing the Wi-Fi signal. If I push the button, I can see the light turns on, light turns off. This one here still works. So, so far so good. I'm gonna go ahead and clean this all up. I may shorten the wires, get them all back in the box put the plate on and then we'll be right back. I've got the wiring all cleaned up. I've got the switch installed and you can see it, lo it looks a lot bigger than the regular switch, but in fact it's not because you can see it does line up. So what I've been doing the last couple of minutes is you know, tightening and loosening these here, moving the switch this way and that way, just to get it to line up nicely with this. Because ultimately when you install this face plate, what should happen is it should have line up and then I like to make sure everything's level. So right now it's looking pretty good. I see a little bit of a bigger gap here. So I'll move this a bit over this way. So just kind of, you know, fine tuning just to make sure that everything is looking, you know, as good as possible. Now, unfortunately the whites are quite off. This is a Leviton switch and this is a Leviton um, faceplate. So you can see this is like pure white. This is more like an ivory color. So a little unfortunate, but um, you know, we'll, we'll kind of live with that for now. Let me keep playing around with this and I'll be right back. All right, and it's all complete. You can see that this turned out pretty nice. I played around a little bit to try and get as centered as possible. And we can see it does have power, so it does work. Actually, you can hear a little bit of a click. Of course, this one continues to work. So everything is complete from a wiring perspective. Let me go ahead and now switch over to the app and I'll show you how to set this up. First thing you wanna do is go ahead and install the app. It's called Casa Smart. So we'll go ahead and install it. So right here, you can see it's got a very good rating. It's got 4.8 and I've already gotten it installed because I am using it to control the uh, Christmas lights. So I'll go ahead and open it and you can see I've already got um, the projector here. I've got the, the Santa Claus, Santa Man. So they're already here. I want to go ahead and click the plus in the upper right and I want to add a device. And my device is a smart switch and we know it's a HS200. Okay, wow. So they make a lot of different ones. So they do have a three-way. So I was saying at the very beginning that if you have your switch being controlled from more than, no, if you have your light being controlled from more than one switch, the one I bought wouldn't work for that because I've got the first one, but they have a second one called HS210, which is a three-way, which means uh, two switches controls one light. They have a dimmer, motion activated dimmer. Wow, okay, that's awesome. So mine is the first one, HS200. Have you already installed? Yes. Check the Wi-Fi light. 
mine is flashing orange and green yes okay so now i need to switch over to the wi-fi of the switch all right so that's done i connected to this the wi-fi of the switch it's doing something now it's asking me to select my wi-fi network so let me go ahead and do that join so now it's connecting the switch over to my wi-fi network all right it's going 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 oh and i can see the light is now flashing green on the switch that's a good sign all right device name so we will call this porch light switch oh, it's just porch light yeah porch light um what is it oh you have little icons as well hmm. i guess it's that Um, location custom, this would be in the foyer. All right, so it's all done. Sounds good. Okay, so it showed up. Now I should be able to turn it off and on from here. Yeah, so it's turned on. It's turned off. But more importantly, what I want to do is I want to set a schedule. So schedule uh, plus, and I want it to power on at 10 p.m. So 10 p.m. is when my Christmas lights turn off. So I'll say 10 p.m. Uh, turn off. Um, and then I want it to turn off uh, sunset 20 minutes after sunset, which is when the Christmas lights turn on. Okay, so let's double check. Turn off 20 minutes after sunset, turn on at 10 p.m. That's awesome. So now what should happen, if I go into my Santa man, I go to schedule, so we can see it turns on 20 minutes after sunset, turns off at 10 p.m., so this is the opposite. So that's awesome. And you can see we have a whole bunch of other settings, so the timer, away mode, runtime, all these things you can do. All right, so there we go. I've got this all set up. We're gonna see how it works uh, shortly here. I can see my events. So Santa Man off at 10 p.m., Porsche light on at 10 p.m., projector off at 10 p.m. All right, awesome. So this is exactly how we want it to work. Now that we have the automation all set up, we should see it in action. So it is almost 5.12 p.m., so sunset uh, plus 20 minutes. So if everything works correctly, we should see this light turn off. Oh, it's turned off. Now we should see the Christmas lights turn on. Oh, and there it is. So we can see both the projector and the Santa Claus is uh, on. So hopefully you like this video. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment, and stay tuned for more videos on all things you can think of.